This is We Happy Few. It's a brand new first person adventure from Compulsion Games, starring a professional redactor who refuses to take his happy pills. The result has the potential of being one of the year's most compelling games. But it's not quite ready yet. Let's crib this. Hey, wasn't this just at E3? It was. If what you're seeing looks familiar, it's because Microsoft debuted the game at their Xbox press conference. We Happy Few caught a lot of people's attention because of its alternate 1960s setting and a story involving an entire world filled with forced happiness. Between the stylish design and cool concept, this quickly became one of the games I was most excited to play. Now it's part of Steam Early Access and the Xbox One's preview program. This alpha build comes with a message at the top warning players that what they're about to see is very early and may not run properly. What's more, none of the story elements are in place, save for the introduction level that many people saw at the Microsoft press conference or in the trailer. There are notes to collect that do add a little context, but almost all the cinemas and story beats are being held off until the proper release. Wait, there's no story? Not yet. What we're given is something of a randomly generated sandbox where we're expected to complete quests and explore the surroundings. The developers hope this will give you a better idea of the tone of the game and how it will work mechanically. Unfortunately, what this alpha build actually did was erase most of the excitement I had for the game coming out of E3. I went into We Happy Few, expecting a carefully constructed first-person adventure game along the lines of Bioshock or Deus Ex, but quickly discovered that it was more of a survival game. Not survival horror, but rather like Don't Starve and Sir, You Are Being Hunted. It's a game where you're constantly picking up objects and crafting them to aid in your quest to escape the city. You'll also need to keep eating, sleeping, drinking, and more in order to stay alert and avoid hostile people roaming the streets. Ugh, that sounds like a drag. Yeah, it kind of is. While I'm not opposed to constantly keeping track of gauges, I wasn't a fan of how aggressive the survival mechanics are in We Happy Few. It only takes a couple of minutes for our hero to become thirsty and crave food. It often felt like I was spending more time trying to keep my hero alive rather than actually exploring the world and solving quests. This is, as I stated earlier, an early alpha build, so I suspect these gauges will be toned down considerably in the finished game. That's what I had to keep reminding myself as I played this early access build of We Happy Few. Whenever I ran into something I didn't like or understand, I just chalked it up to the game being six months to a year away from release. The broken quests, characters spouting out gibberish, and the ugly locations all feel very temporary. And I doubt they're indicative of where the finished game will end up. Is there anything you liked? Oh, definitely. The introduction cinema sets up a story I'm eager to uncover, especially now that I've explored the limited area and completed some of the quests. I'm curious how all this will tie together and how the developers will use the three playable characters. I also really liked the full motion video bits, especially when it comes to the public service announcements and old television episodes. I sat in front of the old black and white TV completely engrossed in the host's calming bedtime story. I hope the finished game does more with the full motion bits. Question. How is a downer like an apple? Answer. They both look good hanging from a tree. Hmm. I'm not sure I get it. Oh, <laughs> I see. That is very good. <laughs> Hanging from a tree. <laughs> Here's another one. What's the difference between a downer and the Black Plague? Well, one is a deadly organism that can destroy an entire city, <laughs> and the other is a bacterium. <laughs> oh, very good. <laughs> While I'm still excited to play We Happy Few, I'd be lying if I said this early access alpha build didn't blunt some of my enthusiasm. It's not so much the execution of this build, but rather the realization that it's going to be more of a survival game than a linear story-driven adventure. 
And even after I got over my initial shock, I still had a hard time warming up to the rapidly depleting gauges and nonsensical mechanics. This early version is currently $29.99, which is a steep price for the amount of content you get. There may come a time when the game is worth the asking price, but not without the story and multiple characters in place. We'll revisit We Happy Few when it's finished and ready to go. Hey, thanks for watching our preview. This is the start of what promises to be an incredibly busy week. And not just week, but it's a packed August. We have a bunch of reviews going up, including a long overdue look at Dex and Hero. I'm also going to be taking a look at Nintendo Power's best reviewed movie games. I have a bunch of surprises up my sleeve, but I can't talk about that just yet. So I recommend you click the subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.